think Steve Leisman uh, joins us now with more. Hey, Steve. Good morning, Joe. Yeah, political axis already swinging this morning, hours before the first hearing on these recent bank failures with Democrats blaming deregulation under the Trump administration, Republicans pointing the finger at the Biden administration's fiscal spending, and regulators doing a little subtle finger pointing at each other. Sherrod Brown, the Senate Banking Committee chairman, will say the officials sitting before us today know that their predecessors rolled back protections like capital and liquidity standards, stress tests, broker deposit limits, and even basic supervision. They greenlighted these banks to grow too big, too fast. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for Tim Scott, the ranking member, uh, will say that Scott will focus on the message that the turmoil in the banking sector is a three-part failure caused by bank mismanagement, supervisory neglect, and the Biden administration's inflation crisis, which caused the need for rapid interest rate hikes. As for the regulators, they're going to seem pretty united in putting the blame first on the bank's own failures. But the bank failures, of course, don't explain the failures of the regulators. In testimony yesterday, we learned uh, from Michael Barr, the vice chair of supervision, that uh, supervisors made five separate findings of problems at Silicon Valley Bank from the end of 2021 through 2022. And they don't explain the actions of the Federal Reserve Board, which we now know was presented with Silicon Valley Bank's problems in mid-February, a month before the collapse, with no information yet on what the Fed Board might have done about that. Finally, the overriding issue of the role of the Fed's monetary policy. The FDIC chair points to the rapid cuts in rates and their rapid rise as stressing. And by the way, he says, continuing to stress the banking system. This is likely, guys, only the first chapter in a saga that could ultimately result in more regulation on mid-sized banks like SVB and more focus by the Fed, perhaps, on the chaos that its interest rate policies can create. Joe?